What's nice about Dancer's Choice is that it's a very casual, family-friendly event in our studio four. So basically we put up lights and curtains like it's a black box stage. But people who come get to see dance, ballet, contemporary, up close and personal. So it's not like seeing something from 30 feet away over an orchestra pit during Nutcracker. They get to see the dancers within 10 feet of them, you know, dancing and executing all this beautiful choreography. After it's done, the audience will actually get to ask the dancers themselves and the choreographers any questions that they might have. Because one of the reasons it's called Dancer's Choice is because the dancers were able to choose their own pieces to dance. And they're gonna be able to dance those parts that they have always wanted to do, but never had the opportunity to do. With massive lights, like at the concert hall, costumes and lights, the audience really, you know, they get a whole picture. And unless they zoom right in on one dancer the whole time, you know, they're not really actually getting to experience the athleticism, number one that goes into being a professional ballet dancer. You know, even the minute little movements that someone might have with a finger or an arm, you can't capture that unless you're in a rehearsal or in this type of setting. Those are the things I think it'll bring to the table. And it's really great for younger kids too, because uh, in this situation, they're gonna be able to see some of their teachers up close and personal. It's always been my mission to expose as many people to ballet as possible. And what's great about this, I mean, we're doing Swan Lake in the spring, which is an ultimate classical ballet with a full orchestra. You know, and that's what people think of when they think of ballet, but it's so much more. There's contemporary work, um, you know, neoclassical works, and they're gonna be able to experience more than just people in tutus uh, at these dancer choice performances. Tickets are on sale now and, and seating is limited because it is in our studio. We don't have 2,000 seats like the concert hall, but uh, you can visit www.huntsvilleballet.org for tickets and we'll be performing February 23rd through the 25th.